Hello everyone, Ether Song here, and welcome back for some more Chrono Arc. Let's get going. We got some loot. What that was from? Can we use those? I hear like a timer. Do I need to move? Ticking. Is there another like hidden item here? Wonder. Reveal secret tiles. There could be. Should I try it? Nothing. Okay. Scroll of Midas. What does Rush do? Swiftness and Nortant. I don't know if I need that. Heal six when you cast your own skill, consumes one stack when played. I think we have one of those already. Guess we could get another one. Think about it. Anything really to sell? Maybe. And come back. Yeah, I need a key. Where's the boss? Could fight. Yeah, I'll probably need to fight. Um, what do I want? Draw two skills or gain three mana. It's hard to bottom. Skill in your hand. There are three skills. That might be best. Let's use this first. So are they gonna attack? Maybe. I don't think I can kill them though. Let's use the hasty counter first. Is that gonna explode? Engine burner. Swiftness and Norton apply two grievous stacks to burn. Could be fine. This one damages all enemies though, with 25 damage. It's pretty strong. Let's do that first. Do a healing and he'll heal himself. And then we're done. Next skill drawn by prophecy costs one less. Mm, we could do the smog. Let's do the smog. Now they got embrittlement, 
Intoxication. If you do to Joker, how much damage is that? <laughs> Quite a bit. Should be able to end it then. The Joker seems to pair really well with Joey's ability. So we need another card draw. Cast twice. Do three random skills in the deck and select one to draw. Draw two skills and store two mana. Seems pretty good. Or another snack time. Um, just to do a warm up. Speed increased. It's like one skill in your hand is not upgraded. Choose one of two upgrades and apply it. And draw one skill. Oh, there's awakening smog. Let me do the smog. Oh, this should kill everything, shouldn't it? Kinda got. Stunned. to the snack time. So you can apply... What can I do to this? Prophecy costs two less. Increased damage. A 20% if Miss Chain's Burn is active? Sure. Parry that. Draw two skills. Draw three skills and discard one. Let's go with that. They're attacking already. Ever discard that. Got some more skills. What's this one do? Everyone takes five damage when popped. We 
we go. I've already used the burn. I'm gonna get the smog now. There we go. I should finish them. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. The Joker is pretty strong. Where's this going? Convert items into gold. Add a random positive enchantment. I'm used up three times. Got a bunch of potions. Probably should just use them in battle though. Let me do enchantment. Let's do his first. More critical chance, nice. Mm, attack power and accuracy. Critical hit, sure. Maximum health accuracy. Oh, debuff success. Maybe give that to him, actually. And these should have a better chance then. I don't think they would fail, but maybe this paralyzing dart gets better too. Next, I might just do more mana again. We're almost there. Do got more money. Let's buy a key. What else is there? Is there something else here? Maybe there was like a hidden path. It almost looks like it, but I don't have the scroll anymore. What was this? Vitality scroll. Tried here too. Mana flare. Ooh, gain two mana at the start of battle. That could be nice. I'll get some Midas scrolls. Is that two? There we go. Use one on stun enemy. Maybe a guardian potion. Anything else I want to sell? Can I use it on itself? <laughs> I guess I could just get the money back, but. A random rare skill, barrier. I got pain, weakening, and CC debuff. Okay, three skills and selected ally in hand. I have just a bunch of skills for her. Maybe I don't need that. Okay, we got more money now. Maybe I'll get that. I 
Should be a relic stand now. There we go. It's looking pretty good. Still need a key. I guess a warm up start. It's like automatically casting stuff. I don't know exactly what's going on, but okay. Um. To do the warm up first. Do the fire ground. Tasty counter. Okay. Damage per turn, critical hit chance down, debuff resist down. Heal six and you cast your own skill, consume one stack. We'll do a healing fountain. Should be taking a lot of damage. Can we get here? More smog? Sure. Oh, there's a parry. We need a parry. Snack time. Yeah, damage all enemies. Some more skills. Firestorm coming. Attacks all skill owners in hand. Apply deeper and debuff to target two or less enemies. Attacks the lowest health enemy. Okay. Get two of these. Burns. Just a blinking hail. I think everyone's fine, but. Just to be safe. A 
evade and speed up. Okay. Which evade do we have? I can go like that. What does speed show? I guess it doesn't really show, but... Revive one, obtain two tablets or herbs? Sure. Herbs, remove pain debuffs, remove weakening and CC debuffs. I already have two tablets. Let's look at the herbs. Okay. Anything else here? Oh, that kind of leads back to where I was. Anything over here? What's this? Transform the item into a better item. You can turn a relic into heroic equipment. I guess I could get rid of the dark moonlight for a relic. Or maybe the Mana Flare. Two Mana at the start's pretty nice though. Sacrifice 30 health to obtain a key. Let's do this. And should be able to switch out the relics. Let me get rid of that. Change this into something. Armor penetration up. Deals 33% extra damage to haunting enemies. Attack power up, armor up. CC resist, CC accuracy. When the battle starts, taunt all enemies. Could be good. Less attack. Less healing power, more critical chance, more critical damage, more critical healing. So you're basically relying on crit. What do I have down here? Can I see? How much crit chance does he have? Seven currently. Accuracy, CC, accuracy, weakening, accuracy. Can taunt on all skills, critical hit chance. He's got five from that. That is one option. The armor penetration seems like it'd be better. Or just simply this. Or armor, CC resist, CC RXC. Can taunt all enemies right away. Seems nice. What does she have currently? Sure, we could give her that probably. So, I have that. Some more critical hit chance. Some more damage and accuracy. It seems good. How much that increases. Give her some more health. Armor, so that's reduces the damage she takes. 
It's nice. And taunts everything. CC resist and CC accuracy goes up too. Yeah, it seems nice. Okay. And we can get more mana. Everything seems pretty good now. Anything over here? Do I have enough money? No. Yeah, so I guess I just do the final boss. Sounds good. Do these two again. Do snack time. Shared house. Haunted by Miss Chain. Increases maximum health and agro increase. I'll do that to start. Do the fire ground. Absolute defense removed when attack. Oh, that's pretty nice. You smog on them. This card all zero cost cards in hand. Okay. that on them. And do a parry attack. I guess we'll end. Draw two more skills. That seems nice. So what do you have? Mana cost, skills in hand increased by two. We do have a cleanse. Can I use a dart on them? Let's do this first. Stun them. Try putting buffs on my cards. There we go. Do the Joker. <laughs> Quite a bit of damage. So she's still the Screech active and Burn active. This is cost of all skills in your discard pile. Yeah, let's do that. So just in. Mm. 
make a prophecy. Apply magic. Sure, let's apply magic to something, I guess. Uh oh. And what does she have on her counterattack? So that's a lot of damage. Cleanse him first. Her cleanse herself. Remove one. There we go. Some more healing. Stun them. Apply magic to that, I guess. There we go. One blink heal. What do we got? We got a parry attack. Sure. Do this first. Get some more mana. Okay. I took some damage there. Okay. Nice. That was easy enough. Didn't really have any problems. One random class skill per ally. Failed sword. Select an ally and create an illusion sword in hand that they can use. It deals 10 damage to an enemy. Failed sword. One attacked. Remove one stack and cast illusion sword to all enemies for 11 damage. So select an ally and create a illusion sword in hand that they can use. It deals 10 damage to an enemy. And also gives them like a buff. That seems pretty good. Actually. Yeah, you take pain damage. Deal 6 damage to a random enemy for every 2 buffs on allies. That's kind of nice too. I'm going to go with the Veiled Sword. Because with Miss Chain, she already has the automatic...
automatic aunt at the beginning. Giving extra armor seems good. Okay, so I could do another card draw, or I could just simply level up. How big is the level up? Like, just swan to everything? It's not horrible. Do I need more card draw? Maybe? Card draw is always good. a random additional skill book when you defeat the first boss. As you refresh event options starting from sixth stage. Okay. Maybe add another card draw. We were getting low at the end. View the ne next three skills to be drawn. Select one of them to draw. Drawn skill cost is reduced. View all skills in the deck and select one to bring to your hand. Hmm. Just do another warm up. Okay. And what is this? More critical hit chance. And accuracy. if anyone really needs that. It's... I don't know if it's worth giving up her. Give up his evade, I guess, and speed. Well, I guess that makes these more accurate, so maybe that's useful. Okay. Uh, looks like we're good. Move next. I'm gonna save the money. I think we might be able to donate. Then I don't see the donation box. Okay. Is there a token of friendship I got? I got a pistol. In the manga. Did I give him something already? I don't know if I can give him something again. I can try. This looks like a fun manga. Thanks, Lucy. I'll give it a try. I'm all past my teenage years, but I still feel my heart pound when I see the protagonist in Shonen manga. Because they overcome any hardship in their way and achieve what they want. Seems happy. Let's rest here, Lucy. Okay. So you're okay? You sound low on energy. Enemies are pretty fierce, aren't they? They seem especially worse this time around. We still got a long way to go into the time shade. Are we going to be okay? Are you worried? Of course. We almost died a couple times just to get here. Enemies we're facing get stronger and stronger. And I don't know if we'll be able to hold on, let alone move forward. As I said last time, I feel like I'm only getting in the way of everyone's fighting. Lucy. Yeah. Do you remember what I said last time? There's no need to rush. I believe there's no adversary that the humans can't overcome. At least that's the mindset I have when fighting. Your mindset is very important. If you want to overcome an adversary, you must first have confidence that you can do it. Confidence that I can do it. Of course. If you're not really sure, we can make a strategic retreat back to the Ark. In any case, our goal is to help you navigate the area without trouble, so it's up to you to decide. However, well, in order to collect time shades and activate the clock tower, we have no choice but to face the adversary and overcome it. So you think you can still fight? Yeah. 
I can still fight. That's a spirit. Sorry, I'm saying for such saying uh, saying such weak things. I'll continue to move forward. So you continue to help me, of course, until the very next, uh, the very day we activate the clock tower. Let's all work together to find the time shades. Nice. Okay. You can forge items. Can I put like items in here? I don't know if there's any other items I can put in. Okay. Upgrade something. Increase damage by 20 25%. If Mist Chain's burn is active. That sounds good. Uh, I guess this. Can increase the items tier. Bake or burn an item at the campfire. What's burning an item do? I guess I can't click that. Okay. I was hoping for the donation donation box, but didn't see it. All right, let's keep going. Okay, I think this is the final boss before the clock tower again. There's something over there. Kind of looks like it. Some event. Hmm? Sounds like a bugged out record. Okay, I guess it's not a record for the story. Right, let's keep moving. Chest, the battle. An event. Sacrifice one. Uh, just get some gold. Let's do the battle. Twenty percent increased damage against taunting enemies. Okay. Sure, we can do that. How does her burn work again? When she casts a skill or a fixed ability, she gains burn. How long does it last? We can do that. Burn. He engage protection. Sure, we'll do that. Now she's got the perfect block, absolute defense. Apply magic to that. to do that. What else do we have? I'm gonna crest and slash.
Next skill drawn costs one less. Uh, let's do a warm up. Uh, I might have just kill everything. <laughs> That works. I got a key ass. So we can level them up. Now level him up. Sword of Infinity once. Apply illusion buff to all skills in hand. Really deal 12 damage for each illusion sword and illusion sword buff in hand. Illusion flash. Create illusion sword equal to amount of illusion swords in hand. Top creating it once the hand is full. So you double the amount of illusion swords in hand. That could be useful. Maybe this one first. All skills get the buff. Upgrade one ally skill. View for upgraded common skills per party member and learn one? Um, sure. Restores one mana if the skill is exchanged or discarded. Damage increased by 4% for each active ally buff. All enemies. Played from hand, gain one skill exchange. And 20% chance against taunting enemies. The user was attacked this turn. This oh, critical strike. Played from hand, gain one skill exchange. Hmm. We get to draw a skill if it lands. Played from hand, the next skill with Illusion Sword buff costs one less. It's kind of nice. Charge attack. Played from hand, the next sword with Illusion Sword buff costs. Each attack skill played will reduce this skill's cost by one. But that could be good with all the illusion swords. Create illusion swords per cost. The skill zero, so zero. <laughs> Discard the top or bottom skill in hand. Store one mana. This skill is exchanged or discarded. Grab burn. Crush, healing hands, I play from hand, gain one shells changed. Just overloaded too. I think maybe charge attack could be nice. Otherwise, apply a pain be buff. It's kind of expensive though. The smite's not bad. Since it draws a card. All enemies. Yeah. I'm thinking the skill can be cast twice. Interesting. I'm thinking a charge attack. Let's go with that. Go this way first. Okay, soul stones. Goodbye, investigator. Lucy rare skill. Uh, I guess the black market. Upgrade one skill. So I need more soul stones. 
Let's wait a second. I'll probably get some more after a battle. And it looks like there is something over there. I don't know if I can go there. Maybe I need another one of those scrolls, so let me go over there. Ooh. I'll hang on to that for a second. Or maybe it's just normal snow, I don't know. Is there something there? I guess go down. Still go this way. Hmm, select my ally and create a legion sword in hand that he can use and gives him armor. Yeah, that sounds good. Apply magic to this, I guess? Sure. They got failed sword. This perfect block. Stun them. It's got a lot of grievous burns. We need to warm up. Okay. Since she's got toxic. Use that to kill him. Kill him. skill if I want. Broken arrow from tech skill misses. Next skill played costs one less. Okay. There's another lifting scroll. Another strike. It's pretty simple. Seal. The fact remains until the next attack, so you weaken their next attack. Okay. Skill book, vitality. I've started battle. Next battle, randomly cast one of Lucy's skills. Oh, that's probably what happened when I started casting skills. I think. I don't know. <laughs> it was one battle where I just started casting. Um. Yeah, probably that. Now everyone's burning. Anything good here? Reduce their armor. Yeah, let's do that. Um, then, and then that. Oh, that's pretty good. Just one left. And block that. And I got the burn.
God's blessing. Warm up. Mm, I guess I'll do a dart. Stun them. Joker, yep. Should be able to take him out. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's another thing. I didn't think there would be another thing. Let's see. Well, I got the end. Got another prophecy. Lost a bunch of skills. Okay. I guess those don't stack. I need to clear out some room. That connects there. Was there anything over here? Maybe not. Just like snowing outside. fully how those hidden paths work. So I'm gonna want to get rid of something here. I guess use Midas on one of these. Like that. So I cleared up some space. And there's a battle I can do. Level four, draw four rounds. So she's already at four. Guess another card draw. This is a simple draw. Do four skills in the deck and select two to add your hand. Add prophecy bonus to on draw skills. Oh, that could be nice. I think I have some skills that wouldn't draw enough props to get to draw another card. Is 
to attack these enemies. Okay, I'll do a warm up. What's that? 10 damage per and all skills. All skill damage dealt to Deathbringer is halved. Removed when Deathbringer is defeated. Okay. Well, I want to use this first. And then fire ground. Increases damage, does more if I have the sword buff. Feels exceeding. Is this the overload? I forget what the overload does. <laughs> I think it might be these like marks, but whatever. So, what do you have here? I want to try to kill something. Some more skills. Hey, let's get the smog. I don't think we're done. Let's get the divine revelation. Ow. Select a skill to draw. Heal all allies. And a pickup. What are these gonna do? more smog on them. can exchange that. It's got death door immunity. Oh, the Joker. Grab that. on them. It's <laughs> quite a bit of damage. <laughs> yep. See enough. Select one ally skill to upgrade. View a random 
rare skill of each party member and learn one, then replace one random rare skill he already knows with sacrifice knowledge. Oh, let's just do the witch safe. Select the scale, the upgrade. I want to upgrade. Maybe this one? Sure, it's utter oh, fantasy or something, but it's only one time. Let's do the Veiled Sword. Drawn by Prophecy. Making our Prophecy. Yeah, let's do that. I think they're still okay. Remove all possible encounters from nearby tiles and reveal secret tiles. The sister reveals secret walls and the nurse reveals secret tiles. It's interesting. Let's look at a key. More damage received, more attack power. More healing power, critical chance, and weakening accuracy. Might be better. More healing power. Starting to get full on these items. So where could there be hidden tiles? Maybe in the center here? Or not. I don't know. Reveal nearby from nearby tiles and reveal secret tiles. Where could a secret tile be? It's one of these first. All well, secret walls, maybe this side? Utter oh, something. Golden skill book. Guardian Angel. Remove one debuff from each ally. Eight barrier, more attack power at the start of each turn, bring Angel's protection to hand. That sounds good. Only be as if burn is active, remove one stack after taking damage. Half armor. Okay, two cost swifts. Uh, I'm gonna go to Guardian Angel. Sounds nice. Maybe level up her since she's a tank? Sure. Innate. Nor taunt. Burn gain. A buff that lets you use your counterattack enemy's action for three turns. Innate. If you set this skill to fix ability, it can be used regardless. Yeah, okay. Let's use your counterattack enemies. Actions for three turns. Seems pretty good as well. Playing with fire. 
All enemies pain and weakening boss remain an extra turn. And you can taunt things. Sure, let's go with that. Okay, I guess it's the boss time. Was there anything else here? Skill books and keys. Got a lot of money if there's a donation box anywhere. <laughs> Plus one counters from your brother. Reveal secret tiles. Secret tiles, huh? Yeah, I don't know where secret tiles would be. What was this one again? I could trade in. I already used my soul stone, so. Maybe that would have been better, but I think it's okay. Use one here. I think I already used one there, so yeah, let's just go to the boss. Okay. Where's the Reaper? Counter attack could be nice. So what is this again? The skilled owner is a target of death sentence next turn. Alright, priority is the owner of the topmost skill. Next turn topmost skill is reduced by one. She's a target currently. Got some more skills. I guess I'll just make some skills. I should use this. She's got the death sentence. Still warm up. Cannot be disabled. Well, I need to save her. Stun them. Let 
log. Healing potion on them. And I think we're good. So I actually stopped him from doing that once. Still pick up first. Drawn by prophecy, okay. More smog. That again. Oh, he got stunned. Taking damage now. There's the Joker, that could be nice. Uh, another free skill. Yeah, let's do the fantasy, I guess. Uh, we need somebody else to. Take the brunt of the damage. He got stunned. Let's gonna exchange that. Oh, I need to go through like all their skills somehow. This might not be good. All eyes will take 26 damage. That's not good. Um, guess it's better for her to take the damage if it happens. Herself a barrier. Okay, well, she's going to take the damage. She's still alive. Okay. Oh no. He's... Did he die? Oh no. Somehow he took damage like multiple times. 
Okay, Guardian Angel. Let's do this first. Okay, now she's a target. That's fine. Draw two skills. Do a warm up. Ow. She'll heal herself. Okay. I should have used. I, I had a. Uh, Potions that I just remembered. Yeah, I got the healing fountain. Um, I need to get to him. I don't have any of his skills. Overheal 10. Or, yeah. Let's try to find some of his skills. There's a dart. Okay. Just to stun. Oh, the overheal heals up the other part. Okay. Well, we want to stun him. <laughs> I even got the Joker back. Okay. A hasty counter. We well, need to try to get to him again somehow. It's got that Thor immunity on already. skills. Okay, abilities debuffed. Ow. Can I get down to him? I don't know if I can. This first. There's a kill on himself. He's gonna have to give him a barrier. Oh, he has taunt on. Taking damage again. I 
guys heal everyone. Do that to start. Um. If I can get back to her, I'll be fine too. I forgot I need to get back to her. Um. Where's dart option? That would work. He doesn't have it yet. Joker. Could be fine. And then we need to come back to her. I think I can do that. She's got the mark again. He's getting healed up. Healing potion on her. Throw immunity. And we're okay. Oh, we're at our 10 turn. We need to heal this up. Okay. okay. Guess the engine burner. The engine burner. The warm up. She still has a death store on her. Everyone still has mark of death. That's not good. Guess I can paralyze them. Should I get a random rare skill in hand? Um for him. Create a potion. Select materials combined, cost reduced two. Draw two skills. What does this fog do? Gradually increases pain damage. Let's do a warm up. It might be okay. Okay.
If I can get it back to her, then I'm okay. So it's, it's fine now. Heal him to start. Leave this to me. She's got Death's Door. Overheal him. Draw some skills. I can't use that. Do we want some more drawing or healing? It's got taunt. Still got Screech and Burn. <laughs> 11 more damage. This is the only thing really doing damage right now. <laughs> Another basic heal. Okay, okay. Let's take another Joker. Okay, I'll need to finish it off. Oh, we need to bring it back to him if possible. Unless I can kill her. Not looking good. Brought two skills to start. She got stunned somehow. Haunted. So I can still use Joker. Uh, I kind of need to heal though. though. She's targeted. Can I get it to somebody else? Stun him. I also can use this. I should have done this earlier. Hopefully, that's enough to kill him. Ow. Okay, now we got the Jokers. Still alive? Okay. <laughs> Killed him. Give him a barrier. And healing. Angel's protection. Do a warm up. Another warm up. Healing hands.
Put our uh, Nice to kill. Okay. I think we're okay. I need to be able to kill them though. I guess engine burner is what I need. Or I'll create a potion. I could do it. Okay, let's do to create the potion. Start with create potion. Draw two skills. Let's heal all allies by nine. Heal. Deal 17 damage to random enemy. Angel's protection. Zoom. Joker. <laughs> There we go. Got new bosses unlocked. Okay. That was closer than I wanted it to be. Got a bunch of items. Credits. Another key. Okay. He's up. What does this do? Receive damage increased. Already had that. Okay. Key. Yeah, I should have used the other like potion first. I forgot all about it. The one that could have put pain and stuff on him. That would have helped the Joker steal more damage. I guess this thing is only a one-time use. So once this goes off of the guy, the Joker's don't affect as much. And I lost my damage source. In any case, it worked out in the end. Managed to fight through it. Is there more? Let's see if I can heal. Healed some. There we go. Another token of friendship. What item do I have? Malk? Who would like Malk? Or a pistol? Pistol? Pressel? Do you like that? Was this present? Thank you very much. Okay. I guess you didn't like it too much. Who's here? Is she okay? Is the pain gone now? Yeah, it's all thanks to your healing. Thank you, Pressel. Please, I was only doing my part. You're really kind, Pressel. But then, what's wrong? Sometimes feel this way too, but a lot of people seem to think you're scary when you fight. In contrast to how kind you usually are. Pardon me, I don't see how that's kind of strange. The ones we fight are pure evil, well beyond the point of salvation. There must not be any mercy against evil. It's only natural to approach this matter with a cold heart. You mean to say that you feel compassion for our enemies, Lucy? No, it's not like that, but sometimes you get scared to the point it feels excessive. Excessive? Lucy, that's a silly thing to say. It's not right to use the term assassin in relation to confronting evil. But evil is like an infestation that it will reappear at any moment if not thoroughly alerted out. You're claiming that I'm being assessive, but I think the opposite. I regret that I cannot be even more ruthless. No, but still. There are no exceptions for evil. The Lord is the only one that can bring salvation to them. That means we must do what we can do to send those souls to the Lord as soon as possible. Okay, you have a point. Okay, this is the truth. Uh, Pressel, I know you're a good person, but sometimes I feel distant from the rest of us. That may be the case. After all, I have a different mission. Like in time shades and turn my back. Time is important, but that's not my main goal. Then what is? As I said last time, my missions are purify all evil and fill this world with what is truly good. That is all. Mm, so she has another mission. Okay. 
Okay, I can upgrade something. You can even uh, do a blacksmith thing here. I could do a berserker mace with the slippers. Get our rare result. Unless we were to do these two. Get up. Okay. It's just uncommon or rare. That gives me rare as well. Attack power, but less speed. Don't know what that means exactly, but okay. Maybe the other order would have been better. Prophecy costs two less. Create illusion swords per cost of this skill. Prophecy costs two less. Sure. Is a camping item? I guess maybe it takes one extra turn or two extra turns to use skills. Maybe that's still fine though. I don't know. Is there a donation box? So much money. <laughs> I wanted to use a donation box. What is this other thing he has? More attack power and accuracy? I don't know. That'd do quite a bit more damage. Maybe I'll just go with that. It might still be worth it. Even with the, the minus speed. Okay. Identification scroll. Chanting scroll. This might be the end though, isn't it? I don't know if there's more. Chanting. What did they get on that? Critical hit chance. Okay. All right, let's keep moving. We're at the clock tower again, right? No, it's somewhere else. Sanctuary. Oh, so I needed keys? I only have one key right now. A relic pouch. Okay. When the Black Fog arrives, restore allies healing gauge and all allies healing gauge protection. There are two or less skills in your hand. Draw a skill when you cast a skill from a hand. Black Fog turn is halved. Upon reaching Black Fog, all enemies take 25% more damage. Uh, I guess the Fog Totem, just in case. It's my first time coming here. Oh, is there a shop? The start of the third turn, view... Random investigator rare skills. Could be nice. Just enemies in like every direction. Do I need any of these? So I can't equip these right now, can I? I don't think so. Can you apply a stun debuff that many? Also apply a weakening debuff. And it decreases damage received by 50%. That could be nice. 
that could be nice too. But start by going down, I guess. I don't know what this area is. Attacks prioritize the character at the bottom card in your hand. Oh, okay. Share health. Oh, she's being targeted. Okay. Ow. The weakening smog. Okay, let's try to get her shield up. Yeah, it'd be best for her to have it target. How does this work? Prioritize it to top. Okay. I see. That's not good. I might have messed that up. Looks like we're still okay though. that by healing himself first okay she's tar so she's targeted by both okay that's fine Play from hand, gain one skill exchange, apply and or taunt. Hmm. 
Hmm. Everything zero gets changed. He's being targeted currently, her and him. He's gonna need to use that. This will give him a barrier. Still okay. Let's go with that. Get a warm up. A warm up. Please parry. Charge attack. got something. It's over here. Another cube. Start for health whenever an ally pain debuff is removed. To start a turn third turn. Reduce the cost of all skills in hand by one. Whenever an ally CC buff is removed, restore one mana and draw one skill card. That sounds kinda nice. Here, let's get that. One direction. I guess we're going to keep going. What's going on with these? This character takes 15 pain damage whenever a debuff is applied to it. That's pretty, so I want to do a lot of debuffs. I can do that. Heal him up. Everyone a barrier, angel blessing. More attack power. We got smog. Could be good. Yeah, let's start the smog. Uh, maybe to heal first, actually. Said to reset all those things. Interesting.
<laughs> Ow, he got shackles on him. Let's change his card. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll share health. Okay. I think that's fine for now. Ow. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Is that the boss? Looks like it. Okay. So we got a different path first. Active until the stage ends. That's annoying. Um, let's keep exploring some more, though. I don't know what the other paths lead to. Uh, what are these? Whenever you cast a skill, deal six damage to a random party member. Okay. So do the smog to start. Wow. Heal everyone up. Start. Ow. I save her somehow? There's more enemies. Okay, she endured it. Uh, healing fountain. It's not looking good. Oh, she died. <laughs> Killed two of them. Ow. So that's not good. Um, so use a couple. I don't know if I want to do any more extra fights if I don't need to. And this is a dead end. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Well. Talk on a commitment. Extra healing power and an evade. Start the third turn with a rare skill. Maybe get the bread too. Get one piece of bread. Maybe apply a stun debuff. No, let's try whenever start of the third turn view random investigator rare skills. And create one. Sounds good. Let's get those. We'll grab a bread. There we go. So maybe I can use these somewhere? Looks like a boss, though. Just heal her up just in case. Okay, let's keep going. Don't know how well this will go, but we'll see. So can I talk to them? I need to purify. I can sense an immense evil emanate, uh, emanating from over there. Okay. However, our Lord is most gracious and offers salvation to everyone, no matter how evil. Let us save the lost sheep and achieve our destiny. This guy from the legends? He looks much stronger than I imagined. Maybe I should have prepared more potions. Finally approaching the climax. Let's fight him before my engine cools down. Look, Lucy, this is the place that stores the final time shade. Uh-oh, who's here? As I turned my head, I saw a vast indoor space before my eyes. The interior was built like a mansion, even though it was in ruins, and it looked extremely detached from the scenery we had seen before. Lucy, have you heard of this legend? There's a story about a sanctuary that's been passed down since creation of the Ark. It's the legend of Forgotten King who guards the final time shade. The twisted land is always changing, but this one place that always stays the same. Within the sanctuary, a certain warrior holds a time shade, but this warrior is so ridiculously strong that he slaughters everyone who tries to take the time shade from him. Look, the guy is in front of us. That's him. Look at the weapons scattered before him. Weapons of the previous investigators who were decimated by his hand. Isn't it exciting fighting a warrior recorded by legends? I wonder what kind of fight he will show us. Okay. I can't equip these, can I? Yeah, I don't think so. There's no relic box here, is there? Well, I guess we're going. I got a skill book. Maybe get one of these. Prophecy when used in a target. Let's see, ascending slash. Can we get another healing potion for regeneration? Great illusion swords, equal amount of illusion swords in hand. That could be nice too. Healing coil. I don't know, maybe another healing potion. Okay. Anything else I have here? Restore an allies and cure faint status. And use it to campfire. Restores more, so we got that at least. Get all these. Guess we're gonna fight. Start with the warm up. Ow. Bleeding already. Okay. Uh, 
our healing. If he was a seating, the green bar will have lesser effect. If you engage the auto restored after battle. Press twice if I have. Okay. There we go. We got fantasy. Forgotten attack powers increased by 10 when you play the skill. The skill becomes excluded when you cast it. I can get the dart for the next turn. Let's draw two skills. Sounds fine. She's a target the shackle. Cannot act as being doing shackled. That's him. Maybe I can remove it. Let's see if I can. Nope. Oh, we tried that. Stacks at the end of each turn. Whoever holds this will faint at four stacks. Remove them. The shackling chain is defeated. Okay, so I should have read. Heal him at least. It. That's not good. So I need to kill that quickly. Ow. So I have here. That's not looking very good. Oh, he died. Well, now we're really in trouble. Tried to save him, but okay, now they're free. warm-up, I guess. Let's 
It's unfortunate I lost my attacker. They're shackled again. <laughs> They're healing them as much as possible. Received healing, being reduced hurts. Blocks one attack. Was that considered? Maybe I should use this. Get blocked. I need to hurry up or they're gonna die. I guess I shouldn't have used that. Nothing, okay. Swiftness, yeah. Okay. Can I kill it? It's not good. Wow, everyone's going to that edge.
Right, that side again. to help this stay alive. They got nothing on them? Okay. I need to shackle her because the other characters can't deal damage. Is that that star again? Not looking very good. I lost all my damage. <laughs> oh, we just lost two people. I think we lost. Uh-oh. Lucy, it seems like you're in an irreversible situation. Well, there's no need to worry. Just accept your fate. This is not the end. I guess we'll forfeit. Yeah, I had to keep my damage dealer alive. Well, he did pretty good up until there. But hopefully we can make a better run next time. I'll have to see, though. I learned a lot. I didn't know that there was more after that Reaper, so it was the first time seeing that final boss. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.